Destinites, and welcome to another one of the Great Owl's quest guides, in this case for the essential materials portion of the Exotic Sword quest, be that that you're getting Ray's Lighter, Dark Drinker, or Art Caster. Doesn't matter which, this is something you can apply to all three of them, regardless of the sword. I'll also address not only how to collect the materials in the most efficient way possible, but also how to get the particular skill kills that you need as quickly as possible. Doesn't matter if you want to do them before or after you gather the materials, although I would probably recommend doing them after. So, what do you need to do to collect these materials as quickly as possible, and what do you need to know when you're collecting them? First and foremost is that regardless of the type of material that you're collecting, it's not the actual material that they say that you need to collect. It's a material, an additional material that drops from the node that it says you need to collect from. So when it says you need to collect iron, you're not actually after the iron. You're after the additional material that comes out of an iron node. And for this reason, you cannot get these materials from a chest or from the Vanguard vendor. I made that mistake when I started the quest, misunderstanding exactly what they wanted. Went to the Vanguard vendor and thought they just needed 20 spin metal or whatever the requirement was, 10 whatever. So you need to get them, you need to get these materials from the actual resource nodes themselves. So whether that's spin metal or from iron or I can't remember what it is for the helium filaments, maybe for Ray's lighter. So when you go to one of these planets to gather, the way that you're going to make this easier on yourself is something you may or may not have already thought of. Equipping a ghost that is going to find these resource nodes automatically for you. So you want to, who cares what light it is, that's not the point of this, you're just going on a very safe patrol, it doesn't matter the, the level that you're on. Equip one of these ghosts that finds the resource that you are after. And once you've done that, when you go to the planet, it's going to be very easy. I found that had I not done this, it would have taken a much greater length of time than it would have had I had it equipped. So do that. Now that's one thing taken care of. That's going to, as efficiently as possible, get you the resources. If you want one more roundabout to this, if you don't want to have to equip the ghost uh, for whatever reason, if you are a hunter, you have a workaround, because basically, if you have the subclass upgraded, you can use Keen Scout, which I believe is available for the Void Stalker. Keen Scout will also highlight the resource nodes for you and is very, very useful in the same way that the Ghost is useful for you to find these elements that it is that you are after. So with the element gathering going on, you should be trying to get as many skill kills with whichever subclass is required to get the sword. That's a no brainer. You're going to want to do that the whole time. Now, when you finish this, when you collect all the resources that you need, which I believe is 10, the fastest way to be able to get these kills that you need is to do a particular sub quest from the earlier storyline. And this is available on the moon, and when I say it, you'll remember it. You'll go, oh, I remember that, for, at least if you played the earlier content. For newer players, this may be something that you passed over. It's called The Dark Beyond Ocean of Storms on the Moon, and it's a level 7 story. It says, follow the trail of a guardian who went dark, searching for a way into the Hive Fortress. There will be a portion of this quest where you arrive at the Temple of Crota, the gates to it, basically. You look at this dead guardian, and then after the dead guardian little cutscene goes on, your ghost will say, you've awoken the hive, and out of the gate in front of you will pour the hive soldiers, a bunch of them, ideal for collecting the specific class kills that you need. Now what you don't want to do here is finish the quest. What you want to do is use your grenade, use your super, stack up as many kills as you can in this area to give you however many percentage completion on that this other part of the quest that you're doing. But there are two knights that come out of the door. Do not kill these two knights if you can. Leave enough guys alive that you are going to farm this as much as you possibly can until you complete the quest. And you're going to do that by allowing yourself to die killed by these two knights I just mentioned after you take out a good chunk of your opponents. And that's all there is to it. I managed to go to this section, whereas this might have taken hours, where I on a patrol and trying to find groups of enemies. I think I did this in other th under 30 minutes, simply repeating this, kill as many enemies as you can, let the knights kill you, respawn, and you'll respawn as the gate keeps opening. And that's how you get your kills. So that's all for now. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it allows you to complete this very grindy quest as quickly as possible. 
if you found this video useful and uh, you enjoy guides like this, please do like, comment, and uh, share, so on and so forth. Subscribe. Um, maybe share how long it took you to get your sword, because I know that people have varying lengths. One of the swords exotics I got was really quick. The other one I'm working on now, it's just been a grind regardless of using these. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video. This is the Great Owl signing off for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now. Peace.